I heard it is doing 90 degrees out there and climbing. I know. I keep promising Cameron that I'm going to put up his little plastic wading pool. And yesterday, I just, I don't know, I ran out of time. But you're not working the afternoons. Weren't you at home with the baby? I had to drive up to uh, Pendenville to see Jason. How did that go? I just wish there was something, just something I can do for him. Hey. Hey. What are you doing here? I took the afternoon off. I was kind of hoping that you, me, and the boys could, you know, go down to the park. You don't seem glad to see me. I was told I couldn't have any visitors. Well, Spinelli arranged for me to have permission. OK, you're obviously not going to be the one to say it, so I guess I will. I stood and watched while your son was kidnapped. I know you mean well, but I don't think I'm ready to go back to the park. You know Kim loves the playground. We can't avoid it indefinitely. It's only been a few weeks since Jake was kidnapped. And I will be right by your side. Cameron and Jake will be with us every minute. Trust me, it'll be fine. I do trust you, but the memory of turning around and seeing that stroller empty. I'm just hoping that I could try and help you face or overcome your fear. Well, I'm not sure that I'm ready to test that theory. We can do this. Elizabeth, we can rebuild our life. Do it as a family. Say something. Yell at me. You did what you did. Aren't you gonna ask me why, though, Jason? Don't. Don't you want to know why I'm supposed to be the woman that you love? Shouldn't you want to know the reasons as to why I stood by and watched while your son was stolen? You wanted to punish me. You. Jason, you, who promised never to lie to me, was lying all the time. Day after day, month after month. I gave you so many chances to come clean, to tell me that Jake was your son. I arranged for us to meet up with them in the park, and, and you would just hold back. You would shut down on me, and it just, it was killing me. Then this woman, Maureen, Grieving over the loss of her own child, took Jake in the park. And I let it happen. I stood by and watched it happen because I completely lost faith in you. I don't want to go to the park. It's too soon after the kidnapping. Why didn't you just say so? Because Lucky was so insistent. You let your man tell you what to do? We've been going through a really hard time. He wasn't thrilled with the fact that I went to Pendenville to see Jason. He's got a point there. Jason's in prison because he broke the terms of his bail to go find Jake. He's being punished because he brought my son home. It's not fair. That's the explanation you gave to Lucky. He still doesn't understand why I had to go see Jason. You know, he asked me point blank if I love him. And you said? Like he's the man I chose to marry. I'm going to be with him for the rest of my life. I'm committed to him and my family. Who are you trying to convince Elizabeth? Me or yourself? I've been trying to figure out how we ended up so far apart. And I thought it was because of your lies, just not telling me that Jake was your son. But now I realize that it started way before that, Jason. When Manny shot me in your arms and I woke up in the hospital and you told me you were breaking up with me. I couldn't want you to get hurt again. It was cruel. I am in love with you. You are everything to me. And you yanked it all away without even stopping for a second to consider what I might want or how I might feel. I was wrong. 
I was. I tried to fix it. But you didn't, Jason. You never really tried as hard as I did. I, I, I kept working really hard to hold on to what we had. But you had already given up on us too much as I had already gone wrong. And, and you just wouldn't fight for us. And for a year, I kept making excuses as to why we weren't connecting the same way, lying to myself, trying to get you to try again until my perception of reality was so twisted and distorted that I stood by and watched your son being kidnapped. I was wrong. On every level, I was wrong. But you were wrong too, Jason. You were wrong to hurt me. You were wrong to give up. And you were wrong to just sit there and stare at me while I open up a vein. Say something, damn it. Say something. It, 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 even if it's just to tell me that you What do you want me to say? <sighs> that you're right? Fine. You're right about all of it. But you still stood there, in the park, and you watched my son get kidnapped. <laughs> what about this, Cam? Is this a good spot? Yeah, you like this spot? Yeah. yeah. All righty. There you come here. Is that a good spot? Yeah. Huh? It's good, huh? Jake is better off with her unlucky. You trust her so absolutely that you would give her your only child? How did that happen? How did she earn that trust? Did you ever once question the fact that she climbed 15 flights of stairs in a blackout to talk to you about her problems? That was not an accident, Jason. She came to our house to sleep with you. It's true. It is yeah. true. She has been yanking you around from day one. Once she got pregnant with your kid, she could do whatever she wanted because you had already betrayed me. You had been emotionally unfaithful for months, sharing a secret with another woman. How many times, Jason, how many times did you meet with her behind my back? How often did you confide in her matter, when you were closing Doesn't down on me? It doesn't matter because I'm not going to fight with you. It won't change anything that happened. That's right, Jason. I cannot change the past, but I can damn well make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> 